Welcome everybody to another episode of We Inspired. Yes, I'm back in the kitchen and this evening I'm going to be bringing you one of my favourite recipes. It's one of the most simplest recipes that has been on the channel. This is the vermicelli rice. It's going to be so simple that we're going to be only using these ingredients here. Bashmati rice, some vermicelli and some butter. And of course we're going to put some salt on it later on. Um, this is going to be nice and fluffy. So like I said, I'm using bashmati rice and I promise you use bashmati rice and copy this recipe as I'm doing it and you're going to love it. Um, this is going to be nice, fluffy, soft. You can have it with um, sort of grilled lamb, grilled um, chicken whatever you like really we've we've been having it with curry and it goes absolutely fantastic with a curry um like i said i'm using this vermicelli here this is a one kilo bag it's about a couple of pound um fruit from most sort of asian stores arabic stores you can find them in sainsbury's tesco's but of course the larger branches you can use any type of vermicelli that you like i find this easier to use because it's already broken in bits like here so what we have here um, this is enough for two people, depending on how hungry you are. Um, we've got 200 grams of bashmati rice here, 75 grams of vermicelli and 75 grams of butter. You might think it's a lot of butter, but I promise you uh, without this sort of amount of butter, you won't get the full flavour of this rice. You know, um, you, you shouldn't have this every day, you know, once a week. Fantastic. So we're gonna crack on. So I've got the pan on a um, sort of a, just just a bit more above a medium heat. Um, we don't want to put it too hot. All I'm gonna do is add the butter here. Let this melt. Don't put the flame up too high because otherwise you're gonna burn the pan. You're gonna burn the butter. Now the butter is all melted. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna add the vermicelli. Remember people, this needs constant stirring, otherwise what's going to happen is it's going to burn the butter, it's going to burn the vermicelli. You need this nice and golden brown. It's actually now sort of yellowy light brown. This is going to be sort of dark golden brown. Don't forget to wash the rice. So it gets nice and foamy here, but remember constantly stir so it doesn't burn. There we go. So what I'm gonna do now is add one teaspoon of salt. Keep stirring. So look, it's been about five, six minutes and you can see look at that that's nice and it's toasted golden brown so what i'm going to do is i'm going to put the heat down i don't want to burn it while i'm adding the rice here we go Heat back up. So I've been constantly stirring uh, the rice and the vermicelli for about five minutes now. Um, so the rice gets all the flavor, the butter, the salt. Um, so now I'm going to add um, some boiling hot water. And I'll tell you the amount of water that you need to add. So what you need to do is you need to put the right amount of water in this rice otherwise it's going to be sticky or it's going to be too hard originally what i done was i had one cup of rice which was equivalent to 200 grams of rice when i weighed it what you can do is if you're not weighing the rice you use the sort of the cup fill it to the top and then you use two and a half times the amount of water in that cup um, so I hope you guys understand. So it's one cup plus two and a half times boiling water in the same cup. 
um, and then add it to the rice. So you stir the rice in the water for a couple of minutes. And look, as you can see, the, uh, the water has reduced and the rice is absorbing the water. So when you notice this, a couple of minutes, just put the lid on the rice. Oh, nice big fat king prawns to go with, uh, with my rice. It's a king prawn, but still look a little bit small to me. This is also being cooked in butter, slowly cooked in butter. Gonna have a buttery treat this evening. You know, just add the tomato, chopped tomato. And add these, look at these purple, red and green. These are actually homegrown. I've done this, I've just sliced them in the middle. There we are, so it's been about three minutes and look at that. So we'll give it a mix and then just put the lid back on again. And come back in a few minutes. I love a bit of pickle in my prawn. This is a garlic pickle. Not too much. I have to be honest, this I learned from my mate, Mr. Latif. Oh, I can smell that. What do you say? Like that waft. Well, this is finished. To be honest with you, this is like an Indian and a Malaysian put together. I'm just sort of testing some recipes, experimenting. Uh, I'll let you know how it tastes. So I've used some of that ruchi garlic i've used lime and i can smell that and it smells absolutely banging and that's ready to be served so it's been about another three minutes and check this out it's getting there nearly done stir it and then put the lid back on it so it's been a good 20, 25 minutes. Remember, I've stirred the rice every sort of three to four minutes so it doesn't stick underneath. And here we are, look at that. The perfect vermicelli rice. The butter is sort of all glazing the rice. This is gonna taste absolutely fantastic. So look at this. Look at this lovely soft vermicelli rice nothing stuck to the bottom this is perfect for two hungry people you could even feed three people with this so look at this i'm gonna give this a try now so this is lovely and fluffy look that's when you know it's ready when you squeeze it, it's not hard. Bismillah. It's lovely and buttery. <clears throat> Three simple ingredients to make this lovely recipe. Fluffy rice, a pinch of salt, Bob's your uncle. This is it. So if you like this video, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Check out our other videos uh, on YouTube. And don't forget to check us out on Instagram and Facebook. And we'll see you soon. Um... This prawn dish is actually, it tastes wicked. I've sort of done an experiment. I've done the sort of prawn sambal dish on the channel. I've used the same recipe, but I just added the garlic pickle in this one. 
and it's actually come out really nice so if you guys want to do this prawn dish just follow the recipe and add some garlic pickle i'll see you soon